read the question carefully here is the situation a ball with mass 0 0.1 kilogram is being thrown vertically upward okay this is just the path it's so vertically upward and we have to assume when it returns it misses this building okay and it just lands on the ground and in this question we are assuming the downward convention going downward is positive okay going downward is positive that means acceleration due to gravity g is positive because going downward okay this acceleration due to gravity works downward so g is 9.8 meter per second squared and this is the initial position of the ball which is 20 me 25 meters high and we can assume the initial position yes at zero is zero okay this is the initial position and going downward is positive so the ground level will be yes after some time t st will be 25 okay this is the initial position and this ball is being thrown upward so upward means negative so negative 20 meter per meters per second Th that's the initial velocity and after it reaches to the maximum height and it drops to the ground and we are neglecting air resistance in this case okay so the only force working in this question is the weight weight is mass times acceleration due to gravity okay so by the newton's law of motion the resultant force f is mass times acceleration so mass m db over dt this is equal to the weight the resultant force here is just the weight mg okay this is the force and by newton's law of second newton's second law of motion this is m times acceleration that equals this mg let's solve this differential equation and we can divide both sides by m and m is gone so dv over dt equals g which is 9.8 integrate both sides with respect to time okay so dv over dt with respect to time okay so this is v v equals uh, g is a constant so i have not leave g which is 9.8 by the way g and anti-derivative of 1 gt is just t plus c okay now let's find the uh, this value of constant c this is the constant of integration c using the initial velocity initial velocity is negative 20 because it's going up we are this ball is being thrown upward and we are assuming going downward is positive so negative 20 so using v at 0 equals negative 20 we get negative 20 equals when time is 0 so g times 0 is 0 c then this v the velocity at any time t we suppress t but there is v as a function of t equals g t g is 9.8 t plus c c is negative 20 okay for future reference let's say this is equation one now read the question in part a we want to find the maximum height above the ground that, that the ball reaches maximum height here and as we know at maximum height the velocity becomes zero okay velocity is zero so we set this velocity zero and we find the time to reach the maximum height okay and to find the height we need to find the height function or the position function so let's find the position function okay the velocity is the derivative of position or height so if we integrate both sides then we get the position okay integrate with respect to time then we get the position because the velocity is the derivative of position or height equals integrate so 9.8 uh, anti-derivative of t is by the way t square over 2 minus anti-derivative 20 t plus constant of integration let's say d because c is already used and we have the initial position zero so let's use that yes zero equals zero we get yes is zero when time is zero so zero is square whole thing is zero 
minus 0 plus d so d is in fact 0 so this position is okay another thus uh, the height at any time t yes t is given by uh, 9.8 divided by 2 let me simplify 4.9 t squared minus 20 t plus d d is just 0 okay this is so let's say this is the equation 2 so this equation this formula is used to find the position at any time t so this is 4.9 okay now let's read part a find the maximum height and we know that at maximum height the velocity becomes zero so we equation one we set the velocity zero then we find the time that is the time required by the ball to reach the maximum height once we have that height then we use this function to find the height above this level which this is the s zero okay so let's answer part a for maximum height we set the velocity 0 that is 9.8 t minus 20 equals 0 now solve for t so t equals move 20 over divide by 9.8 and use your calculator we get 2.04 okay that's the time then then we can find the height above the initial position just plug in t into this equation 2 and then height at 2.04 time equals just plug in 2.04 here so 4.9 times 2.04 e squared minus 20 times 2.04 plug 2.04 into this formula into this height function and you get negative 20.4 one okay this and negative makes sense because this is the height towards the sky and we've said our convention is going downward is positive so this height is in fact 20.41 meters but negative means this the direction so in part a we are asked to find the maximum height above the ground so the ball is already placed 25 meters high and it can go 20.41 meters higher so 25 plus 20 okay so 45.41 meters so thus the answer is max height from the ground is 45.41 meters okay that's the positive now let's go and answer part b what is the question find the time that the ball hits the ground okay so we need to find the time when the ball hits the ground so ground level in our case is the height 25 because we started the initial position as zero height so that's the 25 so we set the height equals 25 and solve for t so on the ground the height is 25 and look at the equation 2 that's the height function that is 4.9 t squared minus 20 t equals 25 now we solve this equation for t bring 25 to the left side because this will be a trinomial quadratic equation so 4.9 t squared minus 20 t minus 25 equals 0 uh, due to this decimal I don't think we can factor so let's use the quadratic formula and find the value of t this is 4.9 okay so t equals negative b so negative negative 20 is 20 plus minus square root of b squared negative 20 squared that will be uh, positive 400 minus 4 times a c c is negative 25 so this will be plus 4 times 4.9 times 25 over 2a so 2 times a is 4.9 now using calculator we get the times uh, there are two 5.08 
and negative one okay so basically negative one point something that's the ball is already on the height of 25 meters going up down that's 5.08 negative one means when it drops this way so we need the first time so 5.08 seconds final 